Hey, this is Rick with Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And today I'm out here at Miramonte Reservoir in southwest Colorado, probably about 45 minutes or so, or maybe about an hour west of Telluride, Colorado. And we're out here fishing today, and I wanted to test out a new map that I have, and it's called Lake View. And it's uh, all one word, lake, and then V-U. It's from Garmin. And it has maps of lakes, topo maps, or you know, contour maps of lakes all over the U.S. And I, well, there's three maps to choose from. And I want to tell you a little bit about it and what I've found out. And I'm no expert at this point, but I just want to give you some details first. But before I do that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Now, I have been testing this a little bit to see, you know, if I can find out where the channel is here in the Miramonte Reservoir because down here there's a dam over here and there's a channel that runs between this island here and the campground and then on the other side there's another channel and that's a really deep channel I mean it's probably 50 60 feet or more deep and you need to know this stuff for you know fishing because in the summer when the water gets warmer, those fish, the trout will go down deep and they'll rest and, you know, try to stay cool. Because, you know, a little fact for you here, when it gets above about 50 degrees in the water, those trout will really slow down, they'll stop moving or they'll, they'll, they won't move as much. They'll conserve energy to make it until the water cools down. So I started looking at this map view, view and I, well, first of all, I'll just tell you real quick that so I have the Garmin GPS map 67i and you can always check and see what compatible devices uh, for each thing you have, whether whether it's a physical device or a map. And it took a while to actually download and I had to actually have the SD card in here. If you know anything about the 67i on the side, there's a there's a uh, cover here for the SD card and the map is so big that it actually needed the SD card to download it. I couldn't download it on the device itself. So I went in. That took a little while for some reason because it didn't... It, I mean, it probably took me about three to five times. I wasn't counting, but it took several times to get it downloaded. But once I got it downloaded, then I went in here. And, and so I'm at the Miramonte Reservoir here, as I said. And I went out here and I looked and I said, okay, let's, let's take a look and see um, if I can see where the channel is and see the contours. And I'm not covering every single thing in Lakeview that it can do or what it shows. But this contour is well, the most important thing for, I think, a lot of people. And so I'm looking out here and I'm going out to, you know, I'm, I'm arrowing over to where the dam is at. Because that is where it's going to have the greatest... You know channel this channel is actually pretty close to this campground and I'm zooming in here and I see no contours whatsoever not at all now here's what I wanted to find out because there's three different types of maps I believe and some of them are more detailed but then there's one of them that has 10,000 lakes across the US and so I'm zooming in here. I'm, I'm zooming in as far as I can go. And there are no contours. I can't see anything in this channel. Now, I know there's other Garmin devices that, that are meant for fishing or they're specifically made for fishing. And you can see stuff and it has a lot more information. Even you can kind of see where the, the fish are at. So I can't see the contours here. So I'm going to go over to Table Rock Lake. Actually, I'm going to look over at Gunnison first if I can. It's a little more challenging to look around this map sometimes. But I'm going to go over to Gunnison and I think it's Blue Mesa Reservoir. And I'm going to see if that one has contours. And then also, then I'll, I'm going to go, maybe I'll, I'll go over Table Rock Lake. So i got to arrow around here and find the these lakes. Okay, so I've gone over to Blue Mesa Reservoir over by Gunnison. And it's, at, it's just west of Gunnison. And here I can see all the contours and I can see the old riverbed. So again, if you want to see where the deepest part of the lake is at, 
and it's important to you as a fisherman i mean as a hiker and you probably don't care but you know it's great because you can see all of this information and it's really helpful so the first thing i just wanted to point out about lakeview even though on one of the maps it says it has over 10,000 lakes it's not every lake like right here this is a decent lake it's not a massive lake but it's a decent lake i would expect there to be contours here it's not on lakeview just wanted to give you a heads up on that depending on your lake i don't know if there's a way to find out what lakes are in lakeview but um, not everyone so if you got any questions or comments advice and or if you've used this man i'd, I'd like to hear some thoughts from you some comments uh, because i you know i'm always checking different things out to see what works on all of these satellite communicators and i'd love to hear from you so thanks for joining me here today on hiking emergency beacon please like subscribe share and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as i put out new videos and if you'd like to support hiking emergency beacon there's a link in the description below thanks again for staying with me on this video and i will see you back out here soon